eaglerunnerbuilt.com. Yep. Okay, here's your typical 120 volt outlet. Here's a little diagram of what the voltages should be. You can see on the big slot is your neutral wire should be. That's the big slot. On your small slot, that's where your hot wire should be. And there's your slot, small slot. And a little half round ground is right there. Okay, if you want to check that out, you'd grab your voltmeter. Put your voltmeter in the volts AC selector function switch. You want your red lead in the volts ohms diode checker and your black lead in the common ground contact okay then you take your meter and you want to take the function switch hit it zero and that zero zero point zero should be sufficient to read 120 volts okay here's your ground slot and your neutral slot in these positions there should be zero volts there's like zero difference in potential we slide it in there as you can see we're reading point eight which is stray voltage it's not real voltage it's just stray if we wiggle around and get a good ground we might get lower But that's that's what it's supposed to be it's zero now the other side the small slot is where your 120 volts is put your meter in there slot and we're reading 121 volts which like I said if there's stray voltage in there and it might bounce a little bit back from 120 it also has to do with the contacts and internal resistance of your meter and that is how you check your AC wall outlet and the bottom should be the same neutral to ground we read zero and then we go to the hot side and we read 120 and that would be the way to check out your wall wall outlet with a multimeter